Okay, so uh, what we're now going to do is separate the moulds. It's a little bit of a moment of truth. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm really carefully just going to lift the top half of the mould. Then I'm going to turn it over. Now you can see here that's the, the lower part uh, of the mould and it's come out really well. Where it's fractured here, I'm just going to get my finger and I'm just going to push the sand back in, like so. And on these next stages, you do need to be really delicate. It's quite a delicate um, stage, this. Uh, what I'm now going to do is try and get this next half out. So I've taken the uh, upper part of the pattern out there. I'll take my pin out. And it hasn't gone as smoothly as I wanted that part. But what you can now see is you can see the, the design there. So I'm going to try and repair this by just pushing these pieces of sand not quite as bad as I first feared. If you get any little bits of sand uh, in this that uh, you don't want, then you could just blow those out of the way. Um, and what I'm now going to do is show you how to create um, a runner and a riser using a tube. Okay, so what we're now going to do is create a runner. Uh, the runner uh, and the riser is what um, the aluminium is poured into. So to create that, we are going to use a piece of tube. It's a piece of thin wall tube. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to push this uh, into the sand. And the idea is we're going to try and remove a column of sand so if I were to have two designs, let's say I had one here and one here, then what I would be wanting to do is create um, my, I'm going to create my uh, runner here in this corner and all I'm going to do is really carefully push the tube into the sun very slowly. done is it's removed a core of, of sand. So I can now firm this up using my finger and thumb. Uh, and what I next need to do is create what's called a gate. Now the gate is where the aluminium goes from the runner and it goes into the mould. So we're just going to carve out um, almost like a, a little gate and this is where the uh, aluminium will run. So you can see, um, and we're looking at this upside down, but you can see that the aluminium is going to enter here run through here, go through the mould. We then need to create, if we had a second design, we would create a second gate that might be here. And that would go into this cavity and then that would fill up. In this case, I'm gonna create a second hole and this is called second hold, uh, this one is called a runner where the metal goes down, goes into the mould and then it comes up and that's what's called a riser. So I'm going to do that the second hole, which I'm going to do here. Now as I bring it up I'm going to twist the tube around. That's my 
my second core and then I'm just going to firm this up using my finger and thumb. It's usually a good idea to curve these holes so that um, they tend not to break as easily. And then I need to create a second gate here. Now you can begin to see why sand casting as a process does not lend itself well to lots of tiny intricate detail. It's much better for creating um, large, simple, modest shapes. Okay. So after checking, um, we've got rid of all the um, excess. Um, bits of sand you can see that I've got my uh, runner here and my riser here and I'm now going to turn it back uh, up um, to, to, to form a more Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to roll the edges of these over so that we don't get the sand going inside. create uh, an area into which you uh, pour the aluminium, you can actually cut out a wider area of sand. So if I was to remove this area, let's say here, um, what that will do is it just gives me a larger area to pour this aluminium into. Now when I do this, I need to make sure that I'm not getting sand dropping into the hole. And what I'm trying to do is create almost like a little pool that the aluminium will be poured into. So the idea is that the aluminium will be poured into this area here, it will run down here and then we'll know when the mould is, is full up because the aluminium will then come up on this side, uh, on the riser side here and when you get a little uh, bit of aluminium showing here that's when you know that you fill it up. So that's how we create um, our, our uh, mould from sand.